Hi friends, um, welcome to a another, I guess, Mina moment. This is going to be called Surprise Saturday, I guess, because I like to sometimes post on Saturdays. Today I am doing a get ready for online classes slash hybrid classes with me. I just love to really plan and prepare for all my classes. And so I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing and how I'm doing that. But anyways, let's just get right on into it. So first things first, I need to get all my textbooks and not all of my professors have emailed me yet, but I've had some that have emailed me and some who've opened up their um, class on Blackboard. So some people use Canvas, but Gonzaga uses Blackboard. So I'm just gonna go through that and find all of the textbooks that I need and whatever has the best prices. My accounting professor actually made a YouTube video about the syllabus and sort of what things I need. So I'm looking here for the textbook that I need to order. And then after that, I went and I purchased all of my other textbooks that I needed for this semester. A good tip that I have is also that you should look both at Amazon in your school bookstore and any other bookstore to find the best prices for your books. So be sure to do that when you're looking for textbooks. So now I'm working on my notebook. As you can see here, I have written macro here because I will be taking macroeconomics this semester. And so what I'm doing this year is I am using a five subject, five star notebook. And each of these subjects is going to be for a different class. So macro is my first one. And now I'm just gonna go and label all of my other classes. And I'll also be putting my professor's name and their email and things like that on these front cover pages as well, but I won't be showing that just for like their privacy sake. But yeah. I love to color code. So each of my classes has a different color corresponded with it. So you can see here philosophy is actually going to be in yellow. And then next you are going to see that my accounting class is in this kind of reddish orange. And I do that for all of my classes just so I can stay organized. So lately I've been doing my planners like this. Um, I used to use a bullet journal, but now I just like to decorate it. So this is for this week right now, which is orientation. And so I want to start working on my first week of school stuff because I also have a meeting for work. So we will start doing that. And then I can show you guys how I like to plan my, pl or plan my week and use my planner. sticker so that I can put down my meeting times because I actually had two meetings that day. So that sticker says meeting and then from there I am writing in this sort of fake calligraphy writing saying that classes start because they technically started on Monday but also technically kind of started on Tuesday. Only Monday only classes were on Monday and I had a Monday only class so that's why I said it in between those two days. And then I'm making trackers for the week just so that I can track my water intake and if I do my yoga and how much I spend. And then here you can see that I am creating my to-do list and I am using that same color coding system to say what I need to do for each class and what I need to do for school and other outside things too. After finishing my weekly planner spread, I had to look at my syllabus and figure out what I need to do for my class for the rest of the month because I wanted to be able to see all of my homework that was due for the entirety of the month. So you can see here that I'm just going through the syllabus and writing down when homework is due and using that same color coding system.
I met some people who like are freshmen at Gonzaga now that I actually watched some of my videos before they came here. So if I met you and I forgot to ask your name, please come up and like reintroduce yourself to me and like tell me your name because I would love to like help you out with anything that you might need help with. So also please feel free to DM me on Instagram if you have any questions or even just comment. Um, because I really want to be helpful in any way. Also, if you don't go to Gonzaga and you just want any like kind of tips, please feel free to ask me because I know I was really excited to go to school, but also a little bit nervous and not sure about certain things. And so if there's in any way that I can help you, please let me know. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. And sorry that this outro is filmed on my laptop just because I forgot to film the outro before. But anyways, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye! Thank you.